Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are starting your own creative business, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now, last week I made a video all about the cool new animation features for creating engaging presentations on Canva. So this week I actually wanted to explore one more thing with Canva presentations and that is recorded presentations. So this is a really cool feature where after you create your presentation, you can actually record yourself speaking to the presentation right on Canva. So I think this feature is amazing if you are a creative entrepreneur, maybe you are presenting to clients or to other coworkers and you wanna talk through the slides but there really is just no time to schedule a call or maybe you don't wanna schedule a call. This will allow you to record your presentation right on Canva and then you can download it or share it as a link to whoever you are presenting presenting it to. All right, let's head into my laptop and let's explore this feature together. All right, welcome to my laptop. We are on Canva right now and this is actually the deck that we created together last week uh, in last week's video with all of the cool animations and all of the things. Um, so this week we are actually going to pretend like we are recording this presentation for a client. So I'm going to actually go into present right here at the very top. And instead of presenting as a standard presentation, which we usually do like this, um, you can now actually have the option to go to present and record. So we're gonna go into present and record and we're gonna head to the recording studio. So right here, you can actually, um, you know, set up your camera and the whole situation here. Um, I'm actually gonna use my wireless go, which is what I'm using right now. And I am going to start recording. So this is what, so ignore this bubble right here. That is a bubble for you, this YouTube video, but this is the little bubble here around the red here for the presentation deck. So I can talk about the different things here. So welcome you guys to this presentation. Thank you so much. I'm going to present to you a pitch deck today and then we can go on to the different sections, 1.9 billion, 53 million and 10.6 million. And then we go on to presenting the rest of um, this presentation here and your bubble is going to be in this section just like that. So when you're finished with your presentation, you can go on and end it. But there's actually um, one button here that I forgot to mention, which is the pause button. So if you ever feel like you need a break before you move on to the next thing, you can always click on pause here. There's a little timer here so you can tell like how long you've been recording and you can go back to um, resume and then it'll keep recording again. All right, so once you are done, you can click on end recording and it's going to take like a couple minutes just to um, process that video for you. All right, so once the video is all uploaded and done and processed, um, this is gonna show up, your recording link is ready. So now you can either copy this link and share it with somebody, or you can actually go ahead and download the full deck. Um, and I'm gonna download it, but why don't we check out that link that we just created? All right, so it's probably gonna be kind of loud, so I'm just gonna tune it down a bit. So this is what, so Ignore this bubble right here. That is a bubble for this YouTube video. But so I can pause it and I can actually go to the different sections. So whenever the slide changes, it'll show a little kind of timestamp here so that um, people can refer to those slides easily, which is great. You can actually uh, speed it up too. So if you want to make it faster, they can watch it faster at different speeds. Um, and that looks pretty good. So this is the link version so you can make it super easy and just share a link with your client or whoever you're presenting this to. Or again, we are creating a downloaded version as well. So this is gonna be downloaded as an MP4, which I actually don't recommend. I mean, if you're, let's say, downloading this and 
I'm uploading this to YouTube as you know, a little presentation video, that's totally fine and just download it. But if you're sharing this with a client or something who's just gonna watch it once, then there's no point really downloading it and sending it to them as an MP4. Like that takes up so much space and time. So just go ahead and share that link with your client and I'll make it easier for you and them. But this is actually a great way because you can download this as an MP4 you can basically create like YouTube videos like I do here. Like I use Loom to create these um, bubble videos um, that need to be recording my whole screen. But let's say you are doing more presentation style YouTube videos, then you can go ahead and use the in-house Canva feature here, uh, record your presentation, download your MP4, and then upload it into YouTube and you can do it all in Canva. All right, so I hope that was helpful. All right, and that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. And if you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. By the way, if you love using Canva, then you're gonna love my Skillshare class called Canva Basics, Launch Your Creative Business. It is a three hour self-paced class where I teach you all of the basics of how to design on Canva specifically for business business owners. I then provide you with tons of free Canva templates where you can customize them and I'll teach you how to customize them into your own personal brand. And at the end of the class, you are going to be basically ready to launch your business with branded and customized beautiful marketing material. I can't wait to see you there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!